All right, so welcome to our today's POV video. Uh, we are filming from a Tesla Model X 2024 model. Uh, this is a long range Model X and we have the full self-driving capability on this model. So today uh, we will see what does full self-driving do in uh, the Netherlands in Europe because we know that in the US uh, the full self driving is uh, is quite a thing uh, well in uh, the Netherlands apparently um, what you can do uh, on this uh, this full self driving is uh, the car can stop at the stoplights and um, it can also stop at the stop signs. All what we need to do now is to find a uh, stoplight and uh, a stop sign so we can demo uh, these uh, this functionalities. Alright, so I just wanted to show you the, uh, the settings for the autopilot. So we have the auto steer on beta. Uh, and we have autopilot activation single click. Well, it's his personal preference, of course. Uh, we have navigate on autopilot, traffic lights, and stop sign control. That's actually one of the features of the FSD. Uh, we have also actually smart summon. We will be testing this. I hope it works in Europe. Uh, and emergency lane departure avoidance and lane departure avoidance setting on assist. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go on the highway and test what FSD full self-driving functionality can do in Europe. We are currently in the Netherlands and we will be testing stopping at the stoplight, uh, stopping at a stop sign and of course we will see if in any of the roundabouts the autopilot or the FSD can properly assist us. So without further ado, let's hit it. Uh, before leaving, uh, I wanted to show you the smart uh, uh, I can call it driving modes on or the way the Tesla shifts gears because as you notice in the new Model X we don't really have the stocks here so we cannot shift gears. Uh, what we can do, we can shift it from uh, the touch screen or the Tesla automatically detects uh, the direction you want to go. So if we now initiate the driving, the Tesla already knows that if we press the acceleration, the press to drive it's there so we will be going forward okay so now we will be leaving the parking and uh, reach the highway and we will be demoing these functionalities okay so now we are on autopilot and uh, as you can see we have a red traffic light here and the car stopped so that it was no brake uh, pedal uh, pressed but the car stopped for the stoplights so that's one of the functionalities that it's missing when you have the basic or the enhanced autopilot this functionality is only available if you have FSD enabled on your car you also see the message here stopped at traffic control so uh, we uh, demoed one of the things that represents an advantage when you have full cell drive on your car. Uh, now we will demo what happens when we leave from the stoplight. Let's see if the car knows how to go on the lane. So the stoplight is uh, on red so we will see what happens when we turn uh, the left signal. Uh, looks like we need to press the acceleration because the car did not start by itself. So the FSD knows how to stop at the light but it doesn't know how to start uh, we also had uh, that warning on, uh, on uh, the main screen that meant that uh, you need to put your hands on the wheel let's see what happens now we need to make a left uh, nope the car doesn't make a left so we need to make the left ourselves so it doesn't do the lane change automatically. Uh, that's of course in Europe. In uh, US the FSD is an entirely different, uh, uh, entirely different thing and we would have had the lane change as well. Alright, so now we will be merging back on the highway. So uh, let's see what enhanced autopilot can do because according to the specs 
uh, auto enhanced autopilot also includes merging on the highway so that means that uh, we will have this uh, by default and uh, the system will tell us somehow that we are on the highway and it will merge automatically so let's see what happens we are almost uh, on the highway and let's see if the car automatically tells us to turn okay you see that so it automatically told us that we should be on the first highway lane and that's exactly what the driver did so the merging went totally fine we are now on the autopilot with FSD enabled and it also advises us to switch again the lanes that's probably because of this truck that goes really really slow and it doesn't really let us to change the lane because there are some incoming cars but now okay not yet <laughs> uh, but now I think uh, we can do it no it's it's very safe so it works on the same on the safe side it says request lane change to follow route I think now we will be able to do it because nobody is yep and now it's changing the lane because nobody is behind us so yes yeah, the system it's very very uh, on the safe side again this is part of the enhanced autopilot functionality that you will have uh, on your Tesla in Europe we have the upcoming lane change and the car changes the lane uh, by itself and of course you need a confirmation from the steering wheel but it really fits into into the lane okay so uh, this is something that is also uh, available on the enhanced autopilot you see you see a spot here uh, the lane change is initiated by the stoplight and there was a confirmation from the driver and now uh, the lane changed we see that the autopilot max speed is set to 100 and uh, now uh, we can easily drive on the autopilot don't do this at home uh, this is something that uh, basically will um, allow you not to put the hands on the wheel this is an extra weight that our driver added uh, just to be more comfortable on the road I don't advise it to anyone because uh, it will allow you not to pay attention uh, to the road and of course you don't want that okay if you notice now the car tells us to actually go to the right because there is nobody in our right and uh, we should be staying always on the right lane now we see that a car is in our blind spot and of course it doesn't advise us to go there but once the blind spot will be free the car will advise us to turn right uh, if you could slow down a bit so the car yeah now we should have uh, a free spot and the car automatically told us to go to the right even if we did not initiate it, this maneuver and the lane was properly changed so uh, this is what enhanced autopilot does uh, it supports the lane changes on the highway uh, and uh, it works really really well and uh, now uh, what I want to show you is exiting the highway functionality which is also part of the enhanced autopilot package uh, we need to make a uh, right in 1.1 kilometers uh, so let's see what the car does in 1.1 uh, kilometers uh, my uh, assumption is that the car will indicate us that we need to exit the highway and uh, once the lane is available uh, it will do this automatically let's wait and see we have 500 meters and uh, as you can see the driver is holding the wheel straight so it's not initiating the right uh, maneuver but it's holding the wheel straight 300 meters and now you see that there is a request to do the lane change the request was granted from the driver and 
now we just did the lane change and we are exiting uh, the highway very good happy with the result and looks like the car acted as it was supposed to uh, again this is part of the enhanced autopilot package okay another thing that we want to test is the stop sign and the compatibility with FSD so uh, FSD advertises that uh, it will stop at the stop signs so let's see what happens in front okay so yeah it looks like it detected the stop sign very very interesting and it actually will it stop okay yeah that's super interesting so it stops at the stop sign then what we need to do I think we need to press the acceleration right because otherwise it won't move so yeah this one is working as expected so well done FSD okay so we want to test the roundabout functionality in a car that has FSD enabled so as you see we are driving on uh, full cell drive we are approaching the roundabout now and we want to know what this car will do in uh, the roundabout so uh, we are getting closer here and uh, let's see what will the car do okay so looks like uh, the car uh, did not uh, allow the others to uh, pass in the roundabout so it did not give priority in the roundabout that's one and the second thing of course it did not handle uh, the roundabout as expected so FSD in uh, Europe it's uh, quite useless in this uh, in this uh, domain um, as I said uh, what the FSD does it's only only stopping at the stop lights and at the stop signs all right so we just parked uh, we are inside the model x um, i wanted to do more demos today but unfortunately the weather wasn't with us so we couldn't uh, really do a complete walkthrough um, but uh, i'm happy that i managed to demo uh, the enhanced autopilot and the fsd functionalities a uh, couple of conclusions uh, so the enhanced autopilot it's uh, working as expected so uh, you have uh, the lane change on the highway uh, exiting and entering the highway assistance so they work uh, as uh, as expected uh, also I've tested the auto parking and it works uh, as expected too uh, so uh, these ones are uh, working correctly uh, for the FSD um, I can say that it works as advertised by tesla on their website uh, what does that mean um, so for fsd for now in europe you only have stopping at a stoplight and stopping at the stop sign that's absolutely it for now um, does it work to invest in the fsd or the full cell drive now uh, so the full cell drive is 7,500 euros in the Netherlands and uh, the enhanced autopilot is 3,800 uh, in the Netherlands. Uh, that means that you will basically pay uh, 3,700 extra for only stopping at the stoplight and stopping at the red light. Uh, that's it for now because uh, the enhanced uh, autopilot does everything else uh, does it worth the money well I wouldn't say so uh, now but uh, it all depends on when uh, the new regulations uh, for introducing the full cell drive will be available in Europe I'm sure that after the FSD will be introduced and will be regulated and the car will be allowed to perform uh, with FSD as it does in uh, US uh, the price will become uh, much higher or uh, there, will be, there will be something subscription based and uh, you can also take it as an investment but uh, if you are uh, 3,700 uh, if you invest it and of course you make uh, 
maybe 10% or 15% yearly uh, investment maybe you can use those money uh, um, by investing it in something else now and purchase FSD later uh, when uh, you know that the approval in Europe is approaching so uh, in my opinion I wouldn't invest in FSD I would invest in enhanced um, uh, autopilot though uh, I believe that it's really working good uh, we just demo it today and it's really really uh, convenient and you can actually rely on it on the highway uh, it's super smart but I wouldn't invest in FSD uh, that's it for now. I hope you liked uh, my video. Um, what I will do, um, I will definitely come back to uh, my friend and uh, do a walkthrough of the Tesla Model X. Unfortunately, now it's already dark outside. It's uh, uh, almost winter in the Netherlands and uh, it's already getting dark uh, super early. So definitely next time we will have a proper walkthrough of the Model X and we will discuss about its functionalities, about uh, the right uh, quality exterior, interior, and all this kind of stuff. If you like my video, don't forget to click the like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. In this way, you will be the first one to know whenever I'm posting a new video. And stay tuned, new projects are coming soon. See you in my next video.